Couch Trippers getting on a sing-song old GMO at five after Deal or No Deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. in Bristol and I've been delving in the files of the West Wing to see whether there's any link between dreams. That was the thought I had and they've all got their hopes and ambitions for their games. They obviously want to win a lot of money uh, but sometimes they also put down their ambitions uh, which titillate and interest me. Coolwinder here has an ambition to be a dancer. Actually a dancer with a band. Yeah? yeah. That's what you would like. Yeah. And then there's Judith here. And when Judith plays, she's hoping to get £5,000 for a gastric band. <laughs> <laughs> so she put it in the file. I did. <laughs> Come the names. <laughs> time to reveal that the banker's dancing partner today is Carl! Yeah! Oh. Come on, cool Carl. Your game is about to begin. call you cool rather than Carl. Yeah. Uh, Carl Rose from West Midlands, an operations administrator. Yeah. What's that then? Um, just dealing with loads of uh, different different units on the computer and uh, ma making sure it all goes smoothly, really. Right. You've got your mum here, who's two different people. Yeah. Yeah. To you, she's Alma. Yeah. But at work, she's Pat. Yeah. That's right. What are you here? Well, he's got me down as Alma, but I prefer to be called Pat. Hi, I've Pat. Been, I've been telling people Pat. Hello, Pat. Hiya. Good. And tell me about your brother, about your brother Jamie. Yeah, my brother. Um, my brother's Jamie, yeah, he's 15, um, and he suffers with a uh, sickle cell. Um, it's basically what it means. He needs um, loads of fluids, um, and his bones aren't too strong. Um, he's got a really bad hip, um, and in the long term, he's going to need an operation. Um, he struggles to do any physical activities, any, anything like that, and uh, he struggles to like climb stairs, anything like that. So, um, and the reason I wanted to mention it is that if you win big, yep. you want to be able to make some alterations to your home. Yeah. So to make his life easier, yep. highly commendable. Um, what else would you like to do with money? Um, I'd love to help my mum out. Yeah, I'd love to help my mum out. Um, she's always looked after us, and I always said, if I came into any money, I'd like to give her a break and look after her. That's great. Good, good. You do a lot for, um, for kids because you're mad on football. I am, yeah. And you'd like to set up your own football academy as I well, would. wouldn't you? I would love to, yeah. I, would love I was to. very impressed with the file, honestly, Carl. I mean, you went to the States to get qualifications? I did, yeah, I did. I went to the States for six months, um, coached out there, um, and I just, I just loved it. I really loved it, yeah. So ideally, we need to get you away from that PC and all that IT stuff. Yes. And we need to get you out there helping kids to learn sport and make your dream come true. Yep, yep, that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, bit of money for the house bit of money for, for mum. Oh, I think got it all mapped out. Yeah. Do you want to continue? Yeah, I'd love to, yeah. I need you, please, just to confirm, you chose box 11 at random before the game began. Yep, I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator, as you know, who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Uh, we had quite an interesting system yesterday uh, with Pauline. Yeah. Uh, do you have a system? No system at all. 
no no. system at all. So how are you going to do it? Um, I'm just going to go on the vibe. I mean, I hope hope everyone really makes a lot of noise. Um, goes goes to all the crowd, all the pilgrims. Each ring just make a lot of noise. Give me a positive vibe, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Brilliant. What do you got there? Um, my lucky ball. Um, I think a football sums me up. I'm football mad. I love it. So uh, I'm going to take this with me through the game. Okay, great. Let's see how we get on. Yeah. Carl, I wish you all possible success. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> This is a blue for you. Say too, mate. I'm gonna go for Darren. My good mate, Darren. We came together. Yeah. Top bloke. Box number 17, please. Good luck, mate. Cheers, I'll be getting shark at school. I'll be sending my boy there. Good luck. You're huffing and puffing. This is this this is dead hard. When you when you sat there and you're just clapping away, you think yeah. But when you're out here, you have to pick all the numbers. It's it's so different. My heart's like bang bang bang, but I'm like. Yeah, most of the time over there, you're asleep. <laughs> While I'm wide awake today. You are wide yeah. awake now. We're at it, we're at it. Jihad. Box number 15, please. All the best, man. Thanks, All man. the best. I spent by the river here. It was just glorious. Oh, it was you who tried to push me in. <laughs> First player ever to take the sleepwalk of wealth. <laughs> yeah, he's up for it today. Yeah, fire in the belly. He's well pumped up. Yeah, he thinks you're one of those football players, you know, the sort that save it for the big match. Yeah. Oh, and that's why your offer is nine thousand and forty-five pounds. See, he's doing the old football thing there, nineteen forty-five. Yeah. That's a, that's a brilliant offer, um, but I believe I have got a. I have got a good enough board to go on, so um, I'm ready for the question, please. £9,045, deal or no deal? Thank you very much. No deal. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> OK. I'm going to try... 
try Ben, number 20, please. Good luck. Oh. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Yeah, you can put the seal back on it. We don't like that. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, come on. Well, you're not going to be our first male quarter millionaire, but look, it's a good old block of money there. Yeah. yeah. So we just readjust our sights. Okay. I'm going to try Corwin that number 21, please. Good luck, Cole. Thank you. big moment. I hope you've prepared a script like Pauline did. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. There's 11 players. I want you all to come back and be my 12th man. Banker's going to have his uh, problems with you. He, he, you actually think he's going to find it very difficult to read you. Yeah. So. And you're very competitive. I am. I am. Right. Well, you've taken the quarter million out of the game. I have. But there's some great money there, Carl. There is. There See is. if you can find something from his power five. Okay. I'm going to try Anne, number 16, please. Oh, uh, Anne. Still waters, Anne. <laughs> not going into extra time. Oh. oh, you think he's going to give 110%? But you don't think he'll get more than this at the end of the day? Oh, thank you very much. 4,500. I'm not surprised we got that noise. 4,500. That's it, you're not going to get any more than that in the whole game. Okay. Um, I'm still very focused. I've got determination. I've got great support, both wings, all the pilgrims. And um, I'm ready for the question, please. 4,500 pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> Monday number one, please. You're a real sweetie, Carl. I'd love to see you take a big red home. Thank you. Oh. I'm going to go with the lovely Lee. And number seven, please. Carl, oh, you've been a brilliant neighbour. I'm really going to miss you. Thank you. And this is a blue for you. I think it's got to be 1p or 10p to redress or even attempt to redress what happened there. Good luck, Carl, mate. You're one of the best. Cheers, mate. All piece of blue. I'm right, Cheers, mate. 
five times. That was an all red round. And that made this man very happy. Carly's making a big, big issue of that. That's fair enough. So, I mean, yeah, he's trying to draw parallels with Pauline's game yesterday. And lovely, cuddly, sweet Pauline came out here, uh, captured our hearts, and um, just captured all the big reds. Yeah. And he said, the same thing's going to happen. You are going to have the most <sighs> ghastly game. And he said, I sticky. At 4,500. Which, in view of what you did over there, I think it's all right, Carl. Yeah. What do you think, Mum? It's not too bad. I think he's got another round in there. Do you think, Jess? It's a reasonable offer, seeing as you took out three reds in that round. Yeah, I think that's very generous of him. Um, personally, I, I, I think you've got another round in there, like your mum says. You've got a lot more chance hitting blues now, because there's a lot more blues. Are you all still confident, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you all still confident, yeah? £4,500, again, deal or no deal. Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you so much. Take, is it? Video ref says no, definitely that's got to be done again. Okay. All right. <laughs> you ready, yeah? We're ready, mate. Good. Football and fire lads are gonna. No toys. No toys. No toys. Ready? Just a quick one. Okay. Oh, these are such emotional times on Deal or No Deal. It's wonderful how we're bringing people together. I don't believe in the, uh, the curse of the newbie, so um, I'm going to go for number 19, Scott. Thanks okay. to 10B for you, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Right, Jess. you sum that up? At the minute, it could, um, could do with a bit of improvement. I could do with taking out some of these blues, but, um, you know, there's a there's a long way to go yet. Yeah? The next box will decide whether this goes towards the banker yeah. or whether it goes towards Carl. Yeah. Right on the edge. Compelling reason to come back. See you very, very shortly. And I said before the break, this is the box that's going to decide whether it swings very much your way yeah. or very much his way, actually. Come on, you've got to find a blue. Okay. And it's got to be 10p or 50p. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go for number four, uh, Marios. Marios. I've said it all. I've said it all. We know exactly the scale of the problem. Thank you, box four. Good luck, Carl. Thanks, mate. Well, that's good. Let's look.
looking pretty good, I think. Yes, not bad. Okay? Yes. It's not bad. Pretty good. Hello. A board of two harps. You're sounding like a football manager now. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. He says this is going to be your opportunity to prove you are a clinical finisher. Deadly. Deadly around the box, yes. Thank you. Oh, it's a big build up to that. Uh, the offer is 6,700. That's a really good offer. Yeah, it's pretty good offer, yeah. You know, obviously with your hopes and dreams, and we know about the academy and stuff like that. What does that money mean to you? Yeah. You know, inside, is it enough? It is. It is, it, more... it is a really great offer. I mean, like I said, with all the offers, I've never had that amount of money in my life. Um, you know, just to be up there in that chair. You know, I know other people have said it, but you can't buy this experience. Um, on on one hand, you know, I'm keeping myself very grounded. But on the other hand, you are only here once and That's you want to make the best of this opportunity, do you know what I mean? So, um, I'm feeling the love. I've got you all behind me, all the pilgrims. I would like this to be a lot louder. I'll get it. Hello. Uh, oh, Noel, I think he's turned a corner. I think she've turned a corner. There's a new, even more determined Carl. For him, a worrying Carl. A courageous Carl. He's now upped his bid for your box to eight and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Now that doesn't happen very often. No. Oh. We've been here a long time, Ned. Yep. The banker said earlier, let's go like Pauline's game. It's nothing like Pauline's game. You've got two very high amounts. She took them all out. It was good. You've got two very big amounts. You can realise your dreams. Come on. Thank you, Dan. I'm not greedy. I've got dreams and hopes like everybody else. Um, but things have been a little bit hard, but we've made it. You know what I mean? We're not asking for the violin. We've made it. And um, I think I'm ready for the question, please. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. But no deal. That was an excellent speech. Excellent speech. I hope the boxes are going to respect that speech. Harry. Number six, please. Thank you, Harry. I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. Character. She's really bubbly. Yeah. Number two, Judith, please. What do you got for us, Judith? I'm sure I've got a blue for you, Carl. I'm with you 110% on this one. Thank you very I'm much. I'm really going to miss you. Yeah. Okay, well, that wasn't ideal, as I said, but... Nope. You got one to go. That would be quite a five box. Fifty thousand and a hundred thousand. Find a blue, Carl. I'm gonna go with my mate David. Number thirteen, please. Nothing spooky about thirteen. No, I, I don't. I don't really believe in unlucky boxes and things like that. So. Well, obviously, if it's one of those two whoppers, you might change your view about. Whether 13's unlucky or not. Let's be positive. Let's believe there's a blue coming out. David, reveal. Look, okay. Carl. Oh, yeah!
might be in a bit of trouble. Out of nowhere, you think you're in serious trouble. It's like somebody's flicked a switch inside Carl. He's looking at you. No, you know he's got this huge screen. He can call up all the different cameras we've got here. And he's just looking into your eyes and he saw it all change. He thinks he's got one chance to acquire your box. So he's prepared to give it his very best shot. Twenty thousand pounds. a bit of a leap from where you were at eight and a half. It's now £20,000 value, box 11. That is um, a great offer. Um, thank you very much to the banker. I mean, I'm just really letting it sink in. You know, um, it is a fantastic offer, you know, but it's not only for me, you know, it's, it's for my family, my mum, my brother, you know, to look after them. Um, that's why I think it's so important to get the balance right. This is a game, okay? When anybody plays a game, I know when I play a game, I want to be number one at that game. And I want to win that game and do as well as I can at this game. Get my mum down. Mum, do you want to come down? Come down. I have no feelings towards the box. I have no feelings towards any of the boxes. I have no special numbers. I have no feelings. I'm just going with the flow. And at the minute, there's a great vibe. But this is a tough decision. This really is a really tough decision. You know, the, the, I say again, I think the banker is a very clever guy, you know. He knows what to say, you know, he pitches things in right. Not disrespectful, but sometimes I just take it with a pinch of salt and I think, you know what? You know, use your head. Stay calm. Stay cool and, uh... Right. I'm ready for the question now. Carl, £20,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker. It's a great offer. Deal. Now, what was really fascinating about that offer, and to a certain extent, I was quite surprised that nobody in the wings latched onto this. That was a massive offer. Do you know why it was such a big offer? I don't know. Because he was frightened of you. Okay. He saw the change that happened in you. And he will always try a big offer for somebody who gets his respect and does it in a very honest way. I really hope, however, that in meeting your needs, fulfilling your ambitions, you haven't actually almost broken a rule because there is a rule that also says make the most of the opportunity that's true let's now just have the round from hell okay where would you have gone i was going to number 10 ruby number 10 ruby okay now obviously if he had said no deal we were hoping to see a thousand in the blues but now the opposite is the case thank you ruby okay here goes Oh, that would have been very good. We would have been okay. cheering. Okay. A lot of pressure on you now, Carl. Where yep. would you have gone next? I was going to Lauren, number 22. Okay, Lauren. It would obviously be very sweet and very nice if this now was the 100,000. Carl, you're a great guy and I'm going to miss you. Thank you. No. Oh. Oh, no, Carl. Carl, did you walk away from the dream end, you know? If this is fifty pounds, Carl, this is disastrous. Um, well, fourteen is my mum's birthday. 
and five is mine. Um, so I think I've got McDaniel, 14. If this is blue, I don't even want to think about it. Show me a hundred thousand pounds. and he'll let you go for 50,000. He'll give you that shot. This is, this is, this is really huge. I mean... Carl, weigh up the regrets again, mate. Yeah. Weigh up the regrets, which would be worse to live with. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But then, I think this game works on both sides. I totally agree with what you said there, Jez. Weigh up the regrets, but... Yeah, you'd be gutted if you had uh, the blue. You'd be over the moon if you had 50 grand, wouldn't you? Absolutely over the moon. That's the thing with this game. It's, 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 a, it's a great game. Everyone's gone a bit quiet, though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm alone now. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. It's gone quiet. Yeah. Is the banker's gamble is the loneliest decision you ever have to make in deal. It's a gamble. It's a it's massive a gamble. gamble to take. Big gamble, Carl. Oh, it's all nothing. or nothing. Yeah. Um, I know I said earlier, um, it's a really great game, but you needed to know when to get out. Exactly. And That's it. I'm not sure if I showed it, but I think I showed when I came on. Obviously, I took the big Ian. But um, he's offered me a chance to come back in. But uh, I think I'm ready for the question, please, no? Okay. Carl. Banker's gamble? Deal or no deal? Great offer, Mr. Banker. But no deal. This is the moment. The player traditionally always takes the crazy chair. I personally believe you have played a brilliant game. I've really enjoyed it. And I still think that last decision was totally sound. So I'm really hoping there's 50 quid in here, Carl, because I'm with you every step of the way. Thank you. But have you actually lost an opportunity? 50,000 pounds. What a fascinating game. It was indeed. It wasn't it just. I think it's been a great game for a number of reasons. Have you enjoyed it? I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, if you don't mind me saying that, uh, yes, it would have been brilliant to get that £50,000. It would have been brilliant, I'm not going to lie. But all said and done, I came here with nothing. And I'm leaving here. Me, my mum, my little brother, £20,000 better off. Yeah. And now... I'll quickly say my bit. You were over there as Mr. Cool, bordering at times on Dozy. <laughs> I never knew whether you were paying attention or whether it was an act. What I think is so commendable is you've come out here and quite clearly demonstrated there was no act. Was Carl, you're a great guy. I wish you all possible success Thank in you the very future. Much. And your family now have £20,000. <laughs> Around our country. What a wonderful place.
place this really would be. You'll be with us tomorrow because we'll have another great character and another great game to test the bank bank. See ya. Join Brendan for the coach trip next. Snails and frog's legs on the menu. Oh, and champagne too.